What's up? This is Christian from the Mean Jeans, and here are my top five records that are most influential in my Mean Jeans songwriting. Number one, Plastic Bertrand. I don't know, I say Plastic Bertrand. Who cares? Ça plein pour moi. This record fucking rocks. Uh, there are a couple of whack reggae songs on it, but otherwise it's mostly the, that beat that's the kick and the snare and the hi-hat all at once that just goes which is just idiotic and primitive and so good. Um, our song Stone to the Bone features it and uh, try to use it as often as possible. Number two, Riverdale Storm the Streets, 1997, Ramon's Warship Pop Punk. So many good jams on here. And I think what they did is take the idea of Ramon's Warship and simple, silly songwriting to an even more idiotic level. And in the Mean Jeans, we've tried to level that up to even stupider. Number three, Rick Springfield, Working Class Dog. This is a classic dollar bin power pop record. Just so catchy and humongous choruses. It's your boy right there. And I figure, why write a song if it's not catchy as hell and fun to sing along? One of the rules of songwriting and Rick Springfield abides. Number four, we've got Village People Renaissance. This is not a disco record. This is their punk album. Um, its biggest influence on the Mean Jeans has got to be the song Big Mac, which is about how nothing is better than a Big Mac. But I don't think it was officially endorsed by McDonald's. So it's an unsolicited jingle, which is something here at Mean Jeans we like very much. And finally, Ramones Subterranean Jungle. Um, hard to pick what the greatest Ramones record is, of course, but this is the one for the Mean Jeans. And when we started the band, we were constantly listening to this record. Um, the production is weird and strange and pretty stupid and bad but it doesn't impede the songs from being excellent. Um, somebody Like Me, Outsider, Time Bomb, near and dear to my heart, classic shit right there. There will always be an element of subterranean jungle in Mean Gene songwriting. Uh, thanks for joining me for top five.